if you look at the the blog that Jerry Adams wrote in his Largus blog site, uh, he acknowledged that uh, the IRA, in the absence of you know a policing service that was in any way accountable or acceptable to the nationalist people, the, the IRA were put in the position of having to police their own community. That was never uh, an acceptable or a good situation. In terms of some of the alleged sex offenders, uh, you know they were uh, sometimes shot. Uh, or expelled. Um, now again, uh, that was not uh, a solution really that was acceptable. I mean, you know what? What you know in a, in a normal peaceful democratic society, like for example we live in, uh, the appropriate body to deal with that is in Garda Shikana, social no, uh, services, uh, the court. And we all understand that, and that's very clear. But was your colleague Patrick Tobin wrong though when he said that he accepted that there were cases where abusers were moved? No, I, I, I think in fairness to Potter, uh he would have meant expelled. And I want to say something so very, So what's very the big. difference? What's well, the difference between well, being well, expelled? There's a, big, there's, a big, there's a big difference because... The expelled to where? The, 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 the big difference is this. Well, first of all, just to say, uh, the people who were expelled, I thought that was entirely the wrong approach, I have to say. Uh, but in terms of what the Taoiseach said... But can said, I ask... It's, it's no, like no, ask, no, 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 I'll let you say it. I need you issue. to clarify no, what no, you mean no, by expelled. I want to say something very clearly. The Taoiseach yesterday insinuated that people were moved to safe houses. Uh, that's the words he used. He named my county of Donegal and he named the county of Louth. Now, let me make an offer here today. Uh, I am making an offer to the Taoiseach if he believes that is the case first of all to bring that uh, evidence to Angarda Shikana to the PSNI immediately but I'm making an offer too because I would be outraged to the depths uh, if I believe that people were moved to safe houses in Donegal so I'm making an offer if the Taoiseach uh, brings those names, those details to my attention. And now, firstly, bring it to Angarda Shikana and the PSNI. If he brings it to my attention, uh, give me the names of the people. I will look into it myself. And uh, if it proves uh, through the Garda investigation, PSNI investigation, that is true. Firstly, I will condemn it to the highest level. And secondly, secondly, I'll demand that those responsible be brought to justice because that would be absolutely reprehensible. OK, can I just go back to the point I was trying to ask you about? When you say expelled, do you mean expelled from their area? Do you mean expelled from the island? Or do you mean expelled from the, the six counties? What's your understanding of, of that language used by Jerry Adams in that blog? Well, uh, I don't know the particular circumstances. So of they, the, could, of have, the they could have gone across to the border to Donegal to a safe house or a not so safe house. Well, well, first of all, what the Taoiseach insinuated yesterday was that people guilty uh, or allegedly guilty of sex abuse were moved by the IRA to safe houses. That's a very different thing uh, to being expelled. Uh, I often understood it was from the country. Uh, that was my understanding. Now, just to be very, very clear, uh, at that time, as I say, uh, you know, sex, uh, alleged sex abusers, uh, uh, you know, as, as is widely known, uh, were sometimes shot or expelled. That was entirely unacceptable. But in the society that it was at that time, there was no police service for 40% of the population. There was nobody okay. you could go to with those types of situations. And that was the was tragedy it, at that time. Was it appropriate then for members of the IRA, alleged members of the IRA, to bring an accuser and an accused together the accuser being 18 years of old and, and, and forcing what she said was a kangaroo court. Was that wrong? Well, if it happened, uh, as she said, that would be outrageous. That would be Do reprehensible. Do not believe her? Well, I have to say this. You nor me, with all due respects, Jonathan, are capable of judging on these matters. Uh, nor is any journalist nor is any media commentator, nor is any politician. The appropriate people to deal with these allegations are the police, are the court services in the north, and that has but, happened in the north. But that's not what the IRA did in the 70s, 80s and 90s. They decided to take the law into their own hands because they said there was an absence of a legitimate system. So and we're and talking, it, we're playing by the rules of 1997, 1999 here, not by the rules of 2014, well, so you can't uh, make that in argument. Terms, in terms of, you've asked me about Maria Cahill's, uh, you know, allegations, and I, I, I happen to believe that she was the victim of abuse and that she has been traumatized by that. And I am genuinely, you know, empathetic. I think like every right thinking person on this island with that. Now, I do not accept at all uh, the suggestion that she's made that Sinn Féin covered up abuse uh, or the allegations she's made about the Sinn Féin people that she's named. I, I know Did the IRA people. cover up abuse? Well, I'll say this. If what she says uh, about uh, uh, an alleged IRA investigation took place, I think that's utterly reprehensible. 
utterly reprehensible, indefensible. And I would say that those uh, irresponsible, uh, if it is true, should be brought to justice. But here's the situation, Jonathan. You nor me cannot make that call. That is okay. a case for the police, for the courts. And Jonathan, let me make this point. Because no, 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 I, I, I just, I just want to put one is, point. No, I'm going to, I'll let you finish. But I want to make one point just before you move on from that. You say you're unhappy to believe... Maria Cahill and the evidence that she has brought forward and has spoken about at length. Yet you are willing to believe Gerry Adams without having seen all of the evidence. That's a double standard. Oh, no, and Jonathan, with respect, you uh, and many, many commentators and journalists and, uh, have said that you absolutely believe the evidence given by Maria Cahill, the entirety of it. That has been said repeatedly again and again and again. People out there have formed their own view. But with all due respects, the only people who are entitled to do that in our society uh, are the courts, our judges. Or that's why we have democratic processes. By, in the North, by that logic, Pater, all of the people who were abused by Catholic priests in this country, for whom the priests were never prosecuted, you're telling them now, by default, that, you know, sorry, you didn't go through the court's process, you didn't get a conviction, so therefore you weren't abused. That's, that's, I, I, a, that's insulting I, to I've them. Heard, then, I've huh? heard that comparison made, and, you know, it comes from political enemies of Sinn Féin repeatedly. There were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cases that emerged of, of victims' uh, statements. So it is universally accepted now. There's been inquiries, independent inquiries. So do we have to go down that road of independent inquiry before you accept oh, that there oh, may I have been members say, of the IRA who abused people well, say, and who are then moved across the border or didn't face any sanction internally because they were members well, of the of all, IRA? I absolutely do not accept that anybody was moved across anywhere. Uh, I, I do accept that people were expelled from their... I, I, I would have believed from the island of Ireland, uh, but certainly were expelled uh, but you can't I, say that they weren't moved to Donegal oh no, or I, I, can't, I cannot. See, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. The, the you can IRA say some things with terrible now, certainty, Barry McLaughlin Jonathan, and can others. You let me finish. Could you let me answer a question for at least one minute, OK? One minute. That's all I'm asking for. In terms of the, uh, uh, the situation with allegations of people uh, being moved and cover-ups and so on, I'd say this. The, the conflict in the North la lasted from the late 60s to the mid-90s. So I cannot say with 100% certainty, but I'm saying this that anybody with evidence uh, of cover-ups or people being moved to safe houses, please, and including the Taoiseach, bring that evidence to Angarda Shikana and P.S. and I let the proper people investigate it. That's what we have institutions in our democracy to do. Okay. Let them do it. And if it, proves, if it proves to be true, I will condemn it to the highest level and I will demand those responsible be brought to justice. What do you say to those who are still afraid of the IRA? They have gone away, but they're still afraid of the people who may have been involved in this. I would appeal to anybody, anybody uh, listening today or listening to this debate who's been a victim of abuse or has information, please come forward immediately to either the PSNI, to Angarda Shikana, uh, please come forward to social services, whoever you trust, please bring that information to the appropriate authorities because it's become a political football and the only people who can judge this are the appropriate authorities. And if after due process that this is proven to have happened in any okay. instance, I'm saying clearly they should be brought to justice and do their time. Just to finish up, if we can, uh, pardon me, Rockin, the last question, there's no point in asking you the question whether you believe Jerry Adams is in Sinn Féin because the answer you'll give me was you believe him when he says that he wasn't. But do you not accept that it is unusual for Jerry Adams to stand up and to apologise um, to people who may have been affected by the actions of the, sh uh, of the IRA uh, it, when they were dealing with allegations of sexual abuse? For somebody who wasn't in the IRA, it's an unusual action. You have to agree that. Well, I'd say this. Jerry Adams has been one of the most remarkable leaders of you know the last number of generations. Uh, he is the leader of republicanism, uh, you know, on the island of Ireland. Uh, certainly, in terms of the northern republican community, he is the, the identified leader. And I suppose he sees a responsibility that if any element of that republican community was responsible, and he's acknowledged, and I acknowledge it today. I believe, of course, the IRA were involved in a conflict over all of those years. Think about this: there were tens of thousands of men and women in the IRA. Some of them must have been abusers. And it, it is likely that some of these instances were not dealt with appropriately and people were victims and suffered. And I'm saying to them, please come forward because if there okay. were anything as suggested, people should be brought to justice. It was reprehensible. All right, we'll leave it there, Paul